My it's trip to Africa was a great inspiration to meet those young people who were such sweet and hardworking and dedicated people. It was really, it gave me the gas I need to go out now and, 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 do, and do the work that I have to do. Before I came to see there, there were a whole lot of confusions going on, going on in my life. My mother had just had a stillborn baby, and a month later, I lo we lost my younger sister. And both my parents were and still are today unemployed. So these kids end up in no man's land. They've got no parents now. They have no direction, no opportunities, and they don't have good marks. I felt like. Things could not, could not get any better and before I came to see that I had never ever touched a computer in my life and one day that I treasured the most was my first day. We got there and we sat in our lab and everybody had a computer in front of them and our lecturer, my first ever lecturer Brandon said to us, okay that in front of you is a computer and then he started pointing out that's a monitor, that's a keyboard, that's a mouse and that's a tower and he said Feel comfortable, touch it. And since that day, I am now a qualified A-plus technician. I am a qualified N-plus technician. Every single student who comes through this program gets a job. Um, and, and a number of them get jobs way before they graduate as well. If life throws lemons at you, take them and make lemonade out of it. And this is how I describe Cedar. Although we may come from very bitter backgrounds, we take in charge of our lives and we're making sure that as we go on, we're taking our families and our communities with, with us. So the Diamond Empowerment Fund is a vehicle by which you can really make a great difference. I encourage all the viewers to support the work of the Diamond Empowerment Fund.